Hello and welcome to In My Element. In this physics topic, we're going to take a look at distance time graphs. There are some keywords that you need to be using with this. So you might be thinking of, or I hope you're thinking of the terms acceleration, go faster, or deceleration or braking, particularly if you're in the car or on that bicycle. So what does the distance time graph show? Now, you might be given one of these and it would have all these different points in it. This graph here has got them all labelled. So if you have a look at point one, you can see that there is an increase in time and distance. So look at the x-axis. The x-axis is labelled time in seconds and the y-axis, the vertical one, is labelled distance in metres. Now, point one, like I said, shows a steady speed. A flat horizontal line shows that the object is stationary. Now then, as we gradually curve and increase up, we are accelerating. Okay, and this can be for a person running or it could be for someone driving a car or riding a bike. Um, point four, we're showing a deceleration. The curve is tailing off. A little flat bit again will be stationary, but also as we go back down in a different direction, it's steady speed again, but going in a different direction. So at point one, the line's at an angle and it shows the object is moving from it. And from its gradient, you can calculate the object's speed. Highlighted it on in red here. So you can use that to calculate the speed of the object because you can measure, you can do a line on there. You can calculate at time Z, it has moved a certain distance by drawing and measuring that out on there. Now, the second point, flat line. We talked about this. It's stationary. That means the object has stopped. Point three, the curve going up shows the object is accelerating. You can see that there. The curve goes up and we've got acceleration taking place. Four, we've got deceleration. OK, and then number five, very simple. The line going down shows movement is in the opposite direction. There you go, you can see that from the red point. Now, I talked earlier about you'd be able to calculate the speed. This shows you that. So this shows you that the time, these two blue arrows have highlighted that the time on this graph is uh, 75 seconds and the distance is 50 metres. Now, we talked about the equation before, speed equals distance over time. Here's your formula triangle. OK, so you would put those into that equation. It would be 50 divided by 75. So the speed is 0 0.67 metres per second. OK, because you had a distance of 50 and a time of 75 seconds. So you end up with that equation. Notice there you've got your units as well, your metres per second. Now, it's important you can do this from different graphs and at different points on the graph. And it would be the same if it was on that final point of the graph and um, that final red line that we highlighted where it was going in a different direction. You could still calculate the speed on the return journey.